welcome along to the middle of the desert and the Sakir circuit. It is qualifying for the Bahrain Grand Prix. The second round of 21 in 2018 and the race for the Formula One World Championship is very much on. Oh, Max Verstappen has gone into the tyre barrier. So I suspect he's gone wide up, taking a bit too much curb, unless something's broken on the car, which would be highly unusual. Well, let's have a look here, Martin. Turn one, heading up. Verstappen was just starting a, a hot lap. Now, I bet he gets wide. This is turn two. He's going to go out on the curb here. And now he lost it in the apex. The back starts to step out as he turns into the corner, actually. He didn't even get as far as getting too high on the curb. And takes a bite out of the wall. It plucks the front wheel off, which is always a nasty angle. You have, to, you have to hope that that doesn't punch a hole in the chassis. Are you all right, Max? Yeah, all good. That's Verstappen done with in qualifying. Hulkenberg crosses the line, ninth fastest overall. He stays in that ninth position. Carlos Sainz goes seventh fastest, his teammate going a little bit quicker. We look now to Fernando Alonso, needs to get out of the bottom five. Alonso does that, goes 12th fastest, good effort from him. Stoffel van Dorn is right there in the danger zone at the moment. And Stoffel van Dorn goes 12th fastest ahead of Fernando Alonso. Drake. Alonso's under pressure here, he really is. There's faster, some fast cars to go as well. Exactly, Pierre Gasly being one of them, Grosjean being one of them, uh, maybe Charles Leclerc as well. Ocon, 11th fastest, pushes Alonso down into 14th at the moment. See the chequered flag, that means that the session is now over, but those on a lap can complete it. Pierre Gasly drops Alonso to the fringes of the relegation zone. Ericsson, Grosjean, Sorokin, Leclerc and Stroll are those below Fernando Alonso. Brendan Hartley crosses the line, should be safe for the time being Grosjean doesn't improve his time he is now out of qualifying Marcus Ericsson stays 17th Sergei Sorokin is next to cross the line along with Lance Stroll Williams have had a horror in this qualifying session and there is Charles Leclerc out on the track he has had a spin and that's ruined his qualifying lap as well Fernando Alonso survives by because, nothing look at the time look yeah. at his and Grosjean's time exactly the same time but Alonso did his first absolutely incredible 3.36 miles and any little mistake would cost Roman Grosjean and there it is and this might have saved Fernando Alonso a bit as well because Leclerc all at sea going through that final corner it's so tricky Martin just the grip that you want mechanically from the tyres not there so stupid I am so stupid my bad what of Stoffel van Dorn? Well, he's got his foot to the floor. The Renault Power is making it again, but not again enough. And he crosses the line in 13th, and Fernando Alonso misses out. 11th fastest for him. Gasly in the top 10 is now 9th fastest as Kevin Magnussen goes 7th fastest. Esteban Ocon will be next to cross the line. You can see the pink force India does cross the line, stays 10th fastest. So who's behind him that could usurp that? Not Sergio Perez, sadly for Perez. He misses out on the top 10. Ocon stays in it for Force India. Brendan Hartley crosses the line, goes 11th fastest, misses out by 9 one hundredths of a second. Oh dear, oh dear, that was so disappointing for him. And McLaren don't make it into Q3, Toro Rosso do. Yeah, with one car. Anyway, Hartley just missing out, and I think Force India will be mighty relieved to get Ocon into the top 10. We are in Pierre, we are in P9. Yes! That's great news. Only Mercedes and Renault powered cars have taken pole in Bahrain this decade. Valtteri Bottas, 28-0, matches what Raikkonen and Vettel did on their first runs with a first sector time. It's a great teammate against teammate battle with Daniel Ricciardo, the lone Red Bull, in this Q3 session as well. On board with Lewis Hamilton, hanging on through the left-hander. I took so much speed to then just pick the throttle up immediately. It was almost full throttle straight away. Vettel is slightly up on Kimi Raikkonen through that first sector. Still nothing in it though as Hamilton comes and uh, takes the line in a moment after his teammate Valtteri Bottas who goes second fastest. So he split the two Ferraris for the time being. Vettel going even quicker through that middle sector. It's Hamilton who's going to be next as down the main straight he comes and Hamilton can only make fourth uh, on the grid or in qualifying as his best. So now it's down to Raikkonen, to Vettel and to Ricciardo. 
Here comes Sebastian Vettel. It'll be his 200th Grand Prix start in Formula One. And at the moment, it's on pole position. Can Kimi Raikkonen beat his teammate? We shall see. Daniel Ricciardo next across the line. Fifth fastest at the moment for Daniel Ricciardo. Can he go ahead of Lewis Hamilton, maybe? Can get back onto that second row by right. Kimi Raikkonen in the background, making his way around the final turn. Ricciardo doesn't improve. Here comes Raikkonen, crosses the line now. And it's Sebastian Vettel in his 200th Grand Prix start that will start on pole position. Grazie, ragazzi. Well done as well to Pierre Gasly, sixth fastest for Toro Rosso Honda, ahead of Magnussen in the Haas, Hülkenberg in the Renault, Ocon and then Sainz in the other Renault. But it is hats off to Sebastian Vettel here in Bahrain. His last poll here, 2012, and in 2018, it's a Ferrari that he'll start at the front of the grid.